Hey everybody, it's Miss O'Leary, um, and I am going to read a story today. And that story is about a woman named Jane Goodall. Um, I'm really excited to read this book. It's good to learn about different people in our world. Here we go. Jane Goodall, written by Karen Mockler. Here's our table of contents. Remember, this tells us what's in our story, where to find it in our story, um, and the page numbers. So that can help us out if we're looking for something. This is a, looks like a picture of Jane in a forest somewhere or a jungle. The Watcher. As a young girl, Jane Goodall loved to watch animals and read stories about them. She dreamed of living in Africa one day and writing stories about wild animals. I'm gonna read the caption of this photo too to help me understand what I'm reading. Jane Goodall was born in England in 1934. At that time, most young girls grew up to live in quiet lives at home. Hmm. So her dreams are different than the ones she's supposed to do. Off to Africa. When she was old enough, Jane worked and saved her money. When she saved enough, she went on a trip to Africa. In Africa, Jane met Dr. Lewis Leakey, a famous scientist. When Jane met Dr. Leakey, he needed help with an important new animal study. The study would look at how chimpanzees behave. Dr. Leakey asked Jane to work with him, to work on the chimpanzee study with him. Hmm. I wonder what that means to study how they behave. So I'm going to read the picture to help me understand. Part of Jane's work was to watch and report on what the chimps did during their normal day. Oh, that kind of makes sense to me. That helps me un ask, answer a question I had that they are going to watch what they eat and what they do, if they have friends, how they feel about things, see what chimpanzees do. That's really cool. Let's keep reading into the forest. To work on the study, Jane and her mother moved to the country of Tanzania. They lived with chimpanzees in the Ga Gomi Bay Forest. So Africa is a continent and Tanzania is one of the countries in Africa. And in Tanzania, there's the Gombe Forest. Very cool. The Gombe Gang. At first, most of the chimps in the Gombe were afraid of Jane. Only a chimp she named David trusted her. He let Jane meet his family group. Ah, oh, cool. I see that picture of her and David walking. That's really sweet. Jane wrote notes as she watched the chimps every day. Her notes upset many scientists. They had their own beliefs and ideas about how chimps behaved. Ooh. Jane said chimps were smart. She said they used sticks as tools to dig up bugs to eat. She also said chimps showed feelings as humans do. Wow. So Jane was noticing things that other people didn't believe in. Jane saw chimps that were happy, sad, angry. She saw that each chimp behaved in its own way, just as humans do. Jane worked, Jane's work made some scientists think again about their old beliefs and ideas about chimps. They saw that some of their old ideas might be wrong. Some scientists agreed with Jane. Huh, I wonder who these are. So I'm gonna read the caption. Jane with her husband and their son. Their pictures and movies of chimps were seen all over the world. That's really cool. Trouble in the forest. After many years in the Gombe, Jane became very worried. People were cutting down trees in the Gombe forest. Hunters were stealing baby chimps. Jane knew what she had to do. She talked about her work with many people all around the world. She asked them for help to save the chimps and the forest. There she is, a picture of her speaking at a conference. Jane Goodall today. People trusted Jane and helped to support her work in the Gumby. 
Today, over 50 years later, she still works to protect the forest and the chimpanzees from harm. Wow, you can see here, she is observing and taking notes on the chimpanzees. She also has websites down here to learn more. We could go to those websites if you want to with your family. So we read a story, I'm gonna go back to the beginning, about Jane Goodall today. What I learned about Jane Goodall is, Jane Goodall is a scientist who wanted to study animals. She watched and took notes about chimpanzees. She learned that they're a lot like humans. And in the end, she worked hard to save the chimpanzees and the forest. I really like Jane Goodall. That's my summary of the story. You guys can share yours too, okay? Um, great job. I miss you and I hope you enjoyed the story.